Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. It's fielded at the 2. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. He's at the 30. Fires it out. And they finally push him out at the 26. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. He scrambled. Tackle around the 19-yard line. Slings it, and down he goes to the seven-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. push by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 58-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Taken at the five. Tackle made at the 31. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative play. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. from their own 31-yard line. Coming. Second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it 39. Steps up in the pocket. He chucks it downfield. Almost intercepted. He's tackled at the 35. So at the end of one. Marshall leads 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. 
Makes the first down catch. Caught, and he is drilled at the 50-yard line. Marshall is up a score. They'll bring him down at the 42. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Looks middle, got his back. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Complete for three yards, and that's good for a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not Christmas sure foul. when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From the 36-yard line, first down. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, and now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. And they make the stop, the 36-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 27. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Marshall is up seven. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he's level at the one. That brings him second and goal. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He tackles him for a loss. The halfback loses about one on the option. From their own 27-yard line, second down. We played a half of football. Marshall leads 14-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, 
but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Marshall's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got some open field. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. Hopefully he's going to be okay. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There's a fumble. Looks like the offense has it. It didn't really seem to me that anybody on this offense really knew where that option was going. Fortunately for them, they were able to hang on to the ball. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. He makes his way to about the 38. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 30. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings us second and one. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Hey, check by 46. Ready. Red, 68. Red. He's on the run. Inside the 10. He's pushed out of bounds at the five-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here we go. They'll get him for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Third and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Ready! Check, check! Thunder! Thunder! So, with one quarter remaining, the Thundering Herd lead 14 0.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Air Force. Well, the comeback is alive now with that big touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 60-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled right around the 40. A yard, maybe two on the carry. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Air Force will take their second time out of the half. He's out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. From the 30-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a team of four one way. That'll bring up 36. Inside the 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Marshall is lining up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 21-7, Thundering Herd. The Falcons, seven. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.